wonderful afternoon. So this afternoon, I'm gonna, you know what? Like always, I'm kind, I'm like six months late, okay? I'm six months late on the party here. So this is most anticipated uh, coffee grinder. I was really looking forward to last couple years, but I missed uh, the initial, the big rebuild. I sp uh, it's supposed to be on last November, but uh, last October, but and uh, now, okay, six months later, finally I have, to, uh, have time to kind of like share that with you. If you haven't heard, so this is the new coffee grinder coming out from the Akaya, okay? Akaya and it's called Orbit, uh, Orbit uh, coffee grinder. And uh, only the kind of like media press I can find on the internet is the, the actually the Akaya, the YouTube channel, has a live demo on it. So let's take a look, okay? I'm gonna share that with you. So we're gonna do some show and tear here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and then you are going to see what the orbit look like. Uh, initial thought is that it looks very, very tight, okay? Uh, think, of it as, think of it as like a Weber Easy One, uh, between Weber Easy One and like a P64. Uh, so this is the P64. So you know what, let me show you, okay? By the way, so Akaya makes this, hold on. This is wonderful uh, Akaya Luna scale. Extremely high end. I bet you they're metal. Same material as this one, I imagine. Okay, so it should be really nice. So, you know what? Uh, let's get going. Okay, enough talking, and then I'm gonna flip the camera here, and then let's get going. So this one is uh, they posted last November, uh, last October. Like always, I'm a little behind the time here hold on hopefully i can show you guys larger screen there we go so <clears throat> so this so this is the akaya lunar so here we have it um this is our new grinder that we've been working on this is a collaboration with weber workshop okay so this is a collaboration with a, a weber workshop you don't know what Weber is. The Weber makes this amazing coffee grinder. Does, I mean, look at the, the shape there. So let me show you guys the Weber, okay? So here's a Weber, Weber, uh, Weber workshop coffee grinder. Hold on. Hopefully I have some better videos. Dang, I don't have better videos yet. Hold on a second. Their website is not even working properly. Goodness. So this is the, what they look like. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Just bear with me. Here we go. Actually, the James Hopman did a video on that as well. Here we go. So that is the Weber, okay? The easy one. Uh, uh, apparently, their website is not working, but you see that coffee grinder? They're beautifully shaped. That look like telescope. So this is Orbit, as you can see there. Very similar design. And let's see what Akai has to say. Um, it's something that we've been designing and working on. And you know, it, the, the Weber aspect is very much that they have plenty of experience in designing and manufacturing grinders. We've worked with them previously on other projects like the EG1 and the, um, the bean doser. So we, you know, we've had a history with them and we, we trust a lot of their uh, feelings and opinions on kind of what goes into manufacturing. Okay, grinders. that sounds like to me, I mean, the Akaya and Weber, they work very closely on this project. I mean, that's why I can see the resemble between the again the easy one versus the Akaya Orbit. All right, hold hold on. I'm just going to see. Let's skip to the good parts, okay? Oh, <clears throat> let's skip to the good part Unlike there. Like the EG one, uh, we don't have toolless access currently to the bird. So P sixty four, but you know. And basically what that's doing is it's pushing the stationary bird uh, kind of back and forth or up and down. If you 
So uh, look like they are uh, using the. Really exciting thing, at least. Okay, so they are using uh, uh, 64 millimeter burrs. So which means you have a lot of options. Okay, you can go with traditional uh, Italian uh, kind of like like Mazar burr set for 64. If now you have a lot of option for uh, 64 millimeter from SSP as well, like high uniformity or multi-purpose. So you have a lot more options with a 64. Hold on a second. Let's see here. Is anything good? Uh, seems like very user friendly to back and forth. Uh, take the birds out. I want to see. They're grinding some coffee beans. Okay, I'm just gonna go. There we go. So our front have looked at reverse it and try coffee roasters local, which. Coffee roasters, local roaster to me. So let's take a look at there. And we'll just grab, this is maybe like nine grams. So a power button is right up front. Espresso setting. Okay, as you can see, the power button is on the bottom, right up front. Obviously, single dose. toward you. We have currently a little knocker on the chute, which I think is a feature that will probably change. Um, in its current state, it, it needs... Okay, as you can see, you got a knocker right there. And here's the uh, dosing, kind of like dosing, uh, dosing area right up front. Very similar to the, the Akaya, the dosing, the doser coffee doser. It needs a redesign. Um, and again, this is one of those things where you prototype it, you figure out, okay, it doesn't work quite as I guess helps up clumpy, but not, not too clumpy inside the dosing cup. We're targeting 20. Uh, and things like that. So release date we don't have yet. Um, we are, um, we're targeting 2022. For anyone who has worked. Okay, so. Well, then let's talk about this. So they are saying the targeting date is 2022. So which means right now, okay, this year. Goodness, so they didn't, they did not, uh, they didn't make any announcement on on the couple of weeks ago in the Boston Coffee Expo. They didn't say anything about the uh, the releasing date either. Man, uh, I'm very curious about the pricing. Okay, hopefully I can find the price. I certainly hope that we do. Um, price point, price and point. also not firm, and that's okay. for much of the same reason. Right? Okay, so so far we have no idea when it's coming. We have no idea what's the price on it. And when it comes to overall, the impression I got, okay, the impression I got from the beer quality, even beer quality is like Akaya Lunar, okay, beautifully made. If it's something like that, it's going to be spectacular coffee grinder with 64 millimeter, the flapper, you have a lot of options. Again, like I said before, 64 millimeter, you have a tons and tons great option for 64 millimeter. So I'm very curious, again, I'm very curious about the uh, price point because the look and feel very similar to like a uh, easy one. But same time, if a beer quality is as good as this, again, so, so looking at it, okay, so this is quite heavy. Okay, this is quite heavy. And I was looking at the photos, uh, the videos from Akaya. So this, hold on a second, you know, let me show you, uh, show you guys one more time. Demonstration. That is the orbit Hold on a second here. So this is kind of interesting to watch. Uh, watch his hand, okay? We're gonna dissect his movement there. Because, okay, so watch, uh, watch he grabbing the coffee grinder. To have hiding behind me here. Just like that, okay? Seems so very, he doesn't. Um, this is our new demonstration. And that is the orbit See, I don't know. To have hiding behind me here. 
But it seems like it's nothing. I wonder how heavy that is. Grinder that we've been working on. This is a collaboration with Robin Work 2 and a lot of the... the because I'm going to show you one more thing. The, I'm trying to get the, the size of it. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into what's probably the more exciting okay. demonstration. And that is the Orbit Hold Grinder. On. Which I have hiding behind me. Here. Right there. Okay, so... Look at his hand there. It's not that big. Okay. I mean, the seems like, looking at the photos, he's holding like this. Uh, compared to P64, I mean, good. I mean, he was, I mean, I do have a big hand, okay? But look like he's, he can hold it in two hands very comfortably. So, I mean, seems like it's not that big compared to P64. So, this is heavy, by the way. So looking at the, again, I have no idea how heavy the Orbit grinder, but uh, he handled like there's nothing. So, I mean, I cannot wait to see the, uh, the real life, okay? The real life there, the demo. Uh, by the way, so where's the uh, electric core? Because mo most likely, uh, they are uh, detachable. So the cord goes right here. So that's the three prong uh, core like uh, Akaya, I mean a P64. So, I mean, I like that very much because it give, give you that very clean look. So anyway, I mean, I cannot wait to see that coffee grinder. Uh, hopefully coming this year because I know they're supposed to be coming up, you know, 2022, but it's already, uh, goodness, May is right around the corner. I wonder if they are going to try to shoot for how, uh, hopefully fall season, getting ready for uh, holiday season, perhaps. Okay, I'm not quite sure there. Okay. Uh, come again. The comes the price. We don't know yet. Uh, I imagine, if I'm going to guess, around twelve hundred dollar range, because it's going to be more than a niche. Uh, niche grinders I have right on the sitting on the corner. The niche is about 800. So that's 63 millimeter conical burst. Uh, so it's not going to be like a P64. P64 runs about 1700. So I imagine right on between. Because with the P64, comes with the adjustable RPM as well. They give you a lot more options. Okay, a lot more options. Uh, actually, the optional, they're really fine tune it. So, I mean, this is, this is good as get. So, I don't see the Orbit is going to be around 15, 16. My fair guess is around 12, okay? Around 12 to $1,300 for. And plus, you have an option to upgrade with the SSP burst. So, we are looking at bump back up to like 1700 bucks. Because SSP is going to be like around uh, $200 for SSP. So most likely you're not going to be uh, stuck with uh, just the stock birds either. So you might want to upgrade. So man. So bring back to around $15 to $1,700 range. If that price range, you have a couple options. You're going to try something new with the Orbit. Just came out. Or you want to buy something like... P64. It's been around for a while, just proven. So man, we got we got we got a lot to think about, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Okay, is how many of you actually looking forward to checking out the Orbit coming out this year? Okay, love to hear your thoughts on it because I am. Uh, I'm, I'm I love grinders. So uh, I'm gonna shout out to uh, friends at live chat this evening. We got Murphy's on, we got Lion Pride from Seattle. We got Thomas is on. Hey, big shout out to Thomas. Just ordered the P64 today. Good call there. You got Guanda from uh, Mervyn. We got the weird something for 66 for Oregon. MJ. Okay, who else? We got Joe's on this, morning, this afternoon. 
You got the Kala P. Oh, no. Ryan is looking for Kala P there. We have uh, LJ. We got Jamin. What's going on, Jamin? Man, let's see here. I think we are. Hold on. I think we have another comment. Uh, I saw flashing. Hold on. Here we go. We got Benjamin from Houston. Man, we are we are truly international, guys. Okay. Okay. So I mean, it comes to uh, J uh, Benjamin. Ask. What, you know what? I don't know why. I mean, the grinder like this. I I think I I, I was hoping for more buzz. But only buzz I have is, uh, I know is the, uh, just the Akaya o uh, official video. That's it for the last six months. Seems like nobody talking about it. So, man, I was hoping for more buzz, but yeah. Shout out to Osai and Billy just joining us from Boston there as well. Yeah, again, I mean, man. I mean, some grinder, you got so much buzz like uh, Eureka Orbit, uh, not the Orbit, but Aura. Okay, you guys remember last year, Eureka Aura, the single dose was really, really hot. Everybody's talking about it for a long time. But instead, uh, with the Orbit, seems like nobody talking about it. I think I, uh, I was searching for Orbit on YouTube a few minutes ago. Only video I, I can find was that video you guys just saw earlier. That's it. Okay. And then pretty much it. I don't know why there's no other buzz. I mean, so far, the, what I saw on the picture, man, that's fantastic. Okay. That's great. Uh, great piece of machine. Again, okay. If, if that grinder is as good as the so your Akaya scale, the build quality wise, uh, it's going to be a home run, okay? It's going to be a home, home run. So I cannot wait to see, uh, hopefully more coming out for the more information is coming up next couple months. Because I do want to see, you know, 2022 because comes down to coffee gear, uh, what's coming up? Goodness, I know uh, Eureka is working on another single dose grinder. Uh, it's coming out. I think it's already out in Europe. Okay, the Eureka sing, uh, single dose there, Eureka Zero, uh, just came out from. Uh, I think in Europe. I think someone already reviewed it in uh, UK. I think the Eureka Zero sounds very interesting. And other than that, I mean, there's not a lot of new product announcement. Okay. Anyway. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.